Hello friends, this is Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to put up a Cube World server because I've seen a lot of questions about it and may as well answer it. So let's go ahead and uh, start this up. So first of all, you're going to have to find your Cube World folder. I'll put a link to where yours probably is in the description below. Mine's on my desktop. So let me go ahead and click it. The first thing you got to do is just double click server. It should say starting server. I don't know why it's going to say waiting for connection failed. But uh, yeah, basically do that. You close that. You then open server, and this number is the seed number. So whatever your server is, that's going to be the seed. Actually, you know what? My server might still be up. That might be why. Yep, there's my server right there. It's still up. Anyway, you go ahead and put that in. Uh, you start it up. Leave the DOS screen, window DOS screen up. And uh, yeah, next we're going to move to the next part. So if, if you already know this, go ahead and skip in the video. There will be an annotation to skip throughout the video. The next part is going through your CMD and finding out what your IP is. You go to CMD in your start menu. Then you type IP config. All right. So my IPv4 is 192.168.1.10. Okay. That's my IPv4. That's what you want. All right. So we're going to take note of that number. And then we're going to move. Let's create a new Google Chrome. And now we're going to move to... 192.168.1.1 all right then you gotta log in now I'm using a net gear I know Belkin has 2.1 so I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that for now but all right here's the uh, net gear login you have to use your regular login then you got to go to your advanced tab or whatever it is and you got to find where it says port forwarding or port triggering triggering and after that you're gonna create a custom service Mine's already created. It's right here. I'm going to go into it so you can see it. Also, information in the link in the description below will be uh, what what exactly this port is stuff is. So for everything, or for the name, it doesn't matter what it is. You can call whatever. I call it Cube World just so I know what it is in the future. You also need to make it TCP and UDP as your protocol. If it's not there, honestly, I don't think it matters if you don't have both. I know my Belkin router at my... Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so then for your external starting and external ending, internal starting and internal ending, so local and uh, external, you need to make the port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And remember that number we used uh, earlier? The IPv4? We, I said take note of it. There it is. 192.168.1.10. Now, I have a really easy interface, so all I got to do is just click on my uh, PC and that's it. Alright, so next... Now that we've got that, you're going to want to know what your IP is. What is my IP? Now, mine's going to be blacked out on the screen because obviously I don't want you to know where I am or anything of that such, but it's going to be one. Mine is 174. Point whatever. Yours is going to be something along the lines. It depends where you live, honestly. So let me go ahead and close that. Now that you know that number, you can give that number to your friends or you can use that number yourself. All right, so now that we're, in, um, we're done that, you have to have the window open, so I've got the server open right now. Once you've got the server open, you hit start game. Then you hit the player you want to uh, do. I have a test player before I make my own playthrough series. After that, you can create your world to connect to a server. Now, if you're the server hoster, just type in localhost. And you should join. Now, your friends are going to have to type in that what is my IP, IP number that I told you. And once that happens, you should be all fine. And now it should load into the server. Oh, it's going to please wait again. All right. That's odd. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're loaded in. And you know what? Now we can play with our friends, explore together, and all that such. All right, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. And in an annotation of the video and at the end of the video will be a link to my playthrough of this game with Mr. Ryan. I hope you guys have a great time. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to consider leaving this video a like and adding it to your favorites. And if you get a chance, go ahead and subscribe to our channel for future content. Thank you and have a great day.